Hello Gemini, welcome to your love reading. This will be a reading all about your person. This is going to be a reading where we're gonna look at their secret feelings towards you. What are their true intentions? What actions are they gonna take next when it comes to this connection? We're gonna be digging very deep in this reading. So I'm just gonna jump right in. This will be for those of you who already have some sort of a connection in mind with someone. Um, so, someone you already know talking to someone from your past there's a connection there this will be for gemini sun moon rising and venus however this is a general reading i'm talking to a lot of people so not everything will resonate and it might not resonate at all and it, that's okay it just means it wasn't your reading this time around but maybe the next one will be all right gemini let's get into this for gemini please Tell me about Gemini's person. What are their current energies? What are their secret feelings towards Gemini at this time? What are their secret feelings towards Gemini at this time? Okay, Gemini, let's see if I could try to shuffle this deck. Secret feelings or energies towards Gemini at this time. Of course, I don't want a card with this huge deck. <laughs> I love this deck though. It's just really hard for me to shuffle because my hands are really small. For Gemini, please. This person's secret. Ten of Cups reversed. Hmm, your person's like emotionally drained, Gemini. Uh, they're having family issues or just they're they're just not not happy. All these cups are turned over, they're all spilling over. Um, there could be disappointment, heartbreak here. We'll clarify all of these. What else can you tell me about this person's current energies? What are their secret feelings towards Gemini at this time? Oh my gosh, another 10 reverse, 10 of wands reverse. Yeah, this is like, your person is like way down, burdened, disappointed. They're not doing well. <laughs> if you're wondering how they're doing, not well. And bottom of the deck, I have the moon, uh, Pisces energy here. Um, I feel like this might be hidden from other people, the way this person is feeling. Um, there's something that's hidden beneath the surface about this person's current situation, whatever that may be. Tell me more about this person's secret feelings towards Gemini or current energy spirit. I'm gonna grab an Oracle card as well, and then we'll clarify secret feelings, current energy. For Gemini, please. For encouragement, number 54. This person, you know what? I, I, I immediately thought that this person, they see you as a person they can count on, lean on, someone comforting, someone that could help them out of whatever this is. Bottom of the deck, rock, rock bottom. This is where your person is at, Gemini. I'm telling you, they're not doing well. Um, I don't know if this has to do with your connection specifically or just with whatever they're going on in their life right now, but it's just, they're needing encouragement from someone that makes them feel good, makes them feel like there's hope, makes them not feel like they're in such deep, you know, fill in the blank. <laughs> so let's clarify some of these then. Let's get down to the nitty gritty here. Spirit, help me clarify these energies, please. 
or Gemini. Tell me about this Ten of Cups reverse. Star reverse, Aquarius energy. Again, with that feeling that, you know, this is a hopeless situation. Your person's losing hope, losing faith, having difficulty wherever they're at. Um, maybe they had a wish and it was not granted or it wasn't, you know, what they thought it was going to be. Um, I'm also feeling like this person needs some serious healing here um, because whatever's going on with this Ten of Cups, whether it's financial or emotional, not financial, whether it's related to family or it's just emotional, um, it's really affecting them. I have the Knight of Pentacles reversed as well. Um, I feel like there's a uh, possibly financial difficulty here or there's an, uh, a situation where your person thought this was an opportunity for something more. This could be for those of you that are were in some sort of a relationship or connection with this person. Um, they weren't able to commit to you. Um, and if they left this connection, they're, they were very affected emotionally by it. Bottom of the deck, three of cups reversed. So some of you, this is a third party where your person, I feel, went elsewhere. This could also be that there's some sort of interference in this offer that your person might want to bring to you. You know, if this is someone that wants to make you an offer or have an opportunity with you. There is something getting in the way here. And again, with the high priestess, it's like this is secret or hidden from you or this person's not talking about this they're just keeping it all inside this interference could be anything it could be a family member it could be a friend a job you know maybe they're too career focused too financial financially focused um could be a current partner ex-partner whatever it is it's an interference there tell me about this ten of wands reverse Wow, two of cups. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands reverse. Strength card, Leo energy here. You know what I'm seeing here? It's like someone's trying to be strong, trying to keep it together. Three of Pentacles reversed at the bottom. Some of you are definitely dealing with some sort of third party interference. There's too many, too many things not working out here. Chariot right after that with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Your person wants to move forward, but it's either they're stuck or it's not the right time with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Maybe things aren't working out the way they thought. Um, but I feel like your person wants like a different direction here. You could be dealing with a Cancer. It's strange because I don't feel like it's almost like either there's a connection they're in that is like sapping their strength and they need to like, like it's too much for them to bear is, you know, it's a certain connection they're in. Or it could be that, you know, your person's trying to be strong because they have you in mind here. Tell me more about this strength card. My strength here. The sun reverse. Again, something hidden. For me as a reader, the sun card reverse, it's like the sun is covered by clouds. Um, the sun's not out or isn't able to shine brightly. So there's something like hidden there. Darkness, you know. I feel like this person is trying to keep something to themselves and 
maybe they've kept how they feel about you to themselves or how this connection with you affected them and they've buried that deep and it's like a burden it's something they cannot carry anymore i think this has to do with your connection it could also be that they're putting on a happy face in another connection but it's i can tell you right now that's not that's not true <laughs> i mean i just don't see it so let's see what else can we get here for Gemini? Tell me more about how this person is truly feeling regarding Gemini or this connection. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Gemini or this connection spirit? Aw, we got the beaver. Beaver, uh, um, very home uh centered or have family oriented uh natural providers uh they care about family providing for their family they care about um having a good solid stable home beaver is also someone who is very patient and hard working um what else can you tell me about this person what are their secret feelings towards Gemini or this connection? I feel like this person is someone that wants to do the right thing. Otter, beautiful. This is really good energy. Um, I feel like this person is someone that likes to do the right thing. Maybe you like, it's like you light up their life here or make them very happy. Um, this person could be younger than you or have like a childlike personality, does not have to be, but the otter is a very young, playful, joyful energy. It's almost like this person is a beaver with everyone else, but an otter with you. Using my Secret Moon Oracle deck, this is still in work. Um, I have not put this out for sale or anything, and this is a very small sample. It's actually gonna be a bigger deck, but Ever since I got this sample, I really have been enjoying using it. I will let you guys know when it's available. Tell me more about this person's secret feelings towards Gemini, please. What else do we need to know? Okay, we got I need more time. That's that Wheel of Fortune reverse. You know what that tells me? It's almost like your person has a plan in mind. It's just not perfect yet or not working out yet. Okay, we got I regret what happened. So whatever happened between you, they, they still think about it, Gemini. And I feel like you still think about it too. Bottom of the deck, I still check up on you, definitely. I could definitely feel that here. I feel like you both check up on each other, but I think you do it secretly. <laughs> I don't know why I'm picking that up, but that's what I'm feeling. So let's see, what are their true intentions and what are their next potential actions here? What are their true intentions towards Gemini? What are their true intentions towards Gemini? What are their true intentions towards Gemini Spirit? What are true intentions towards Gemini, please? Justice reverse. What are their true intentions towards Gemini? Oh, I got two. I only wanted one. Seven of Pentacles, King of Cups reversed. The Magician reversed, okay. Six of Cups reversed, my goodness. And Eight of Pentacles, yeah. So this person, despite the fact that nothing is working out for them, despite the fact that they're like 
in the worst situation they could possibly in, be in or feel like they've hit rock bottom in their lives, they are desperate to manifest something new. And it has to do with the past. They think about this all the time with Seven of Pentacles. Um, even though a lot of time has passed, they still think about this, Gemini. Um, I feel like they're kind of um, emotionally... It's like they go back and forth, like, should I just give up because nothing's working out? But I don't want to give up, you know? <laughs> I still want to work on this, but should I give up? Um, I feel like your person, again, I just get that that energy that your person's very affected by, you know, whether this is like a full-on separation. It could be that you're not talking to this person. It could be that this person has given up hope that this connection with you will ever happen again or that it'll ever be a solid connection. But I feel like either you feel that way, they feel that way. It doesn't matter. It's not making them forget. It's not making them move on. You know what I mean? It's almost like even if it's a wish that might feel far-fetched or like it'll never happen, they're still thinking about this. With justice reversed, though, I'm going to have to clarify that to see um, if they just feel this is a situation that's very unfair or if they are going through some sort of legal situation or it could even be deception. So I'll have to clarify that to see. What are their next actions going to be? What are their next actions going to be towards Gemini? What are their next actions going to be, Spirit? Nine of Cups. The Magician reversed. See, it's like they have a wish. They want emotional fulfillment. They have a wish in mind. You know, this is someone that knows what makes them happy and is very satisfied that they finally got it. But your person is not able to manifest this at this time. Maybe they need more time. And look what's at the bottom of the deck, six of cups reverse. I'm telling you, this is all related to the past. Um, so let's see, let's clarify. I want to use a different deck. Sorry. The minute I shoveled that, I was like, nope. Okay, help me clarify these energies. Okay, so for Gemini, please. Gemini, I have a feeling that you and this person, you had a very uh, strong influence on this person. Even if your connection was very short-lived or it never went anywhere, I feel like you, you, you're very unique for this person. Tell me about Justice Reverse. What's this? What's this for Gemini, please? Why is the Justice card Reverse here? Four of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Can I get one more? Temperance reverse, definitely. Okay. Sagittarius energy with temperance reverse. Something's not working out, not blending in harmony. More time is needed. More patience is needed for someone to be able to take charge here. Have the emperor reverse. I feel like your person is feeling like the situation they're in with you is very unfair, very off balance. And they're trying to bring that into balance, but it's going to take some time. Also, I feel like it's going to require your person to let go of something with this Four of Pentacles reverse. See how this person's kind of like cradling this purse here? And I feel like your person is cradling something. 
I don't know what this is, but it, it's almost like for it, it's very important to your person, whatever they're holding on to. It could be that if your person's initiating some sort of legal situation, that's going to take time to come together. I feel like your person's willing to fight with the seven of wands, really willing to stand up for what they believe in here. No, no matter what the opposition will be, um, they are standing their ground. They know that something's unfair or unbalanced, but I feel like in their mind, they're thinking eventually things will right itself. They have to. Tell me about the seven of pentacles and the king of cups reverse. I feel like the waiting period though, the wondering, the doubting is affecting your person emotionally with the king of cups reverse. This could also be you. Um, this could be how you feel about after waiting and waiting. Tell me about the seven of pentacles with the king of cups reverse. Chariot reverse. Cancer energy here. It's almost like your person feels stuck, you know, um, no, no progression forward, needing to change direction or feeling like, you know, things are moving at a snail's pace here. Ten of wands reverse. Okay. You know what I'm seeing here? I'm seeing that your person has to let go of a burden in order to move forward. Six of cups at the bottom here again. And the fool right after that with the ace of cups reversed. Very interesting. I feel like the past, whatever happened in the past, you know, maybe it's a regret, guilt over the past. Um, I feel like this is a burden. Something in your person's past is a burden that needs to be dropped in order to have freedom, uh, a new beginning, a, in order to take a risk here. It could also be that your person needs to let go of the, um, the, the hidden feelings that they've been carrying. The, it's almost like a baggage. Like this person needs to just take a risk on this connection, you know? I feel like they're very emotionally like off balance about this like they're very like it's like this has been the heartbreak that they've been carrying all this time can I get one more for the seven of pentacles and the king of cups reverse ten of wands reverse will be different for everyone but whatever this is I feel like it is related to you in some way two of swords reverse a difficult decision has been made. Oh, King of Pentacles at the bottom. Okay. Give me one more for this two of swords reverse, please. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. And the eight of cups at the bottom. Definitely. Okay. So for those of you that are dealing with someone who's in another commitment, because the King of Pentacles for me as a reader is usually already in a commitment. Um, they need to walk away from that commitment, obviously, uh, in order to make you an offer here with the Ace of Pentacles. This is a very um, solid offer. Um, stable, leads to long-term usually. Um, I feel like this is a very difficult decision for your person, but what I'm picking up here is your person no longer can deal with feeling stuck and burdened. They have to do something. And so I feel like they're going to go after this opportunity. However, it's going to require them to walk away. So again, time. This might take time. What's this Nine of Cups about? <laughs> the Six of Cups again. <laughs> So you, the past, you, I feel like this six of cups is very similar to this otter energy. 
Yeah, and the Ace of Cups reverse. You know, it's almost like not having this. It's heartbreaking for your person. Um, your person is not emotionally fulfilled, I feel, without you. It's like something's missing for your person. Ooh. Seven of Swords reverse. Oh, and the wheel. OMG. And Nine of Cups after that? Okay, so something's going to happen. There's going to be a shift here. Possibly a divine shift. Spirit is stepping in. I feel like this is going to be shocking. It's going to be some sort of revelation that causes a shift. It could be that your person, for example, gets caught doing something like checking up on you, caught talking to you, or perhaps they're caught talking about you. Something, something like that. There's going to be some sort of revelation here. Someone's going to get caught being sneaky or not telling the whole truth. But I don't feel like this is with you. I feel like this was necessary. Like spirit made this happen. You know, like this was supposed to happen. Wow. In order for them to get their nine of cups. OMG. Okay. So why the magician reverse? Tell me more about this magician reverse. Four of cups. And it's almost like, you know, what else do I need to do? How else am I going to make this happen? You know, like something's not working out for me. Like what else do I need to do? How am I going to manifest this? In terms of like actions, I don't really see action from your person. I see them like figuring out how to get their nine of cups. You know, what actions do I need to take in order to do that? Yeah, and it's the nine of pentacles, freedom. I need to be free of three of pentacles reverse. Some of you are definitely in a third party, yeah. And it's like your person's stuck there. Hangman reverse and six of wands right after that. They're stuck there, but but daydreaming about six of wands, six of pentacles, you know? Three of swords reverse right after that. There, there's some sort of interference here. It's gonna be different for everyone, but I feel like your person knows that they, you know, it's almost like, how am I? how do I become free to go after what I truly want, you know? Because right now it's not working. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. If you'd like to support the channel for free, just hit the like button and subscribe. That helps the channel out a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Take care.